Hey, big hello once again to everyone watching. Welcome to a brand new series. We're here in NIMBY Rails in the city of London, looking to start our own transport network, something that probably rivals TFL, does a bit better. Um, as the name would suggest, this is mostly just a railways and actually tramway um, sort of simulator, I guess I'd say. <laughs> um, however, this is sort of the first time I'm playing this, so it would take some getting used to. So there are some things that I'm not going to be doing correctly, and you can always shout at me in the comments for, <laughs> or in live chat as well if you prefer. Um, this was also a suggestion from people in chat. Also, hello. Omari, good to see you. Um, so yeah, always pop on down to the live stream. You can always suggest new games for me to play because I do actually take that feedback on board. So we're going to start off with actually recreating the DLR by um, starting off with Bank, which is in the city just opposite London Bridge, which would be here, which in this, this, this game doesn't exist uh, at the moment. This is just like a brownfield site. There's no railways. I don't know how the people of London commute in. Hello, Southern Transport as well. Good to see you. Uh, so what we are going to do is then use third rail with a DLR. The DLR, like overhead contacts. Uh, it's going to be an underground station. Um, let me just make sure that this is... Oops, I'm not... I'm already messing up. How do I put it onto... There we go, put it onto my favourites, just to make it a bit easier. Um, so then, I would have to build... So put it down in the ground. Build a station. Uh, this is Shadwell, this over here is Monument. So up here, this would be where uh, Bank is. So this would be the station at Bank. Um, the DLR trains aren't that long, so I'd say about 200, maybe 160 metres. Let's go over 170 just for good measure, although I, don't, I really don't think they're that long. Especially with how frequently the DLR stops. I'll go over 160 just for good measure. Um, so the game also suggests names. Uh, do I have Train Sim World 3? I do not have Train Sim World 3, I just have Train Sim World 2. Um, that is something that I have been meaning to actually get around to downloading as well, so... Uh, I would actually take that on board and that probably would be another thing that I would um, probably play in the next stream, maybe. We'd have to see. So uh, the alignment of the DLR then comes down over here. Here would be Tower Gateway Station, then St. George in the east, which I don't know where that is. Next up would be Shadwell, which um, checking out the map, making sure it's vaguely in the right place. It's about here, close enough. There you go make it be about a hundred and... 175 meters, and the game's actually got the name of the station. Oh, I was gonna say correct. You know, you can be 170 then, just so that I don't have to rename that. There's Shadwell. Um, would, uh, don't think I need curved stations because no station on the DLR is actually that curved. The next station is Limehouse, which is right over here by Limehouse Basin, which actually. In saying that, this is one of the stations that actually technically is curved, but that's more on the National Rail side, on the C2C side, than um, on the DLR's side. Okay, that should be 175 metres, there we go. Stephen Hawking Primary School, not quite. Uh, after that we then have... What's after? It is... Uh, West Ferry, which is about here. And then... After that... After West Ferry, we then have West India Key, but that's only in the northbound direction, coming from Lewisham. You should play it. There's uh, so many routes to play and buy. Uh, yes, that is also part of the reason why I don't have it, because it's extremely expensive if you want to buy all the routes and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, you are right, there are plenty of routes and stuff that can be done. I might have to make these stations really, really short, because West Ferry is about here. Yeah, that, so it's a slight, uh, slight, uh, you know what, no. I was going to say a, a, a slight angle, but there we go. And then here you have Canary Wharf, which seems to be clipping. Stations are too close together on, <laughs> on the DLR. 
because then after that you have Heron Key, which would be about here, which again is literally intersecting with uh, Canary Wharf. 75, Docklands Enterprise, sort of, sort of doing that I suppose. You could, you could call this an Enterprise vaguely. Um, then after that it goes around to here, and this is where South Key is, which is apparently not, he um, not Field Heath, sorry, not Field Heath, if I can read. Um, so this will be a dedicated, dedicated station for, I was going to say a leisure centre, but it's changed its name to Valve of the Earth, Dream and its Roots. Um, but the DLR, actually, honestly, we're, we're just basically going to be like the government in the 80s doing a railway on the, on the cheap. Then poker, can you do City Bus Manager? Uh, City Bus Manager is coming soon. I've also just realised I'd probably put it in the wrong place. It would be better if I put it here, but you know what? Semantics, and I've built it now. Next up is Cross Arbor. Cross Arbor is down here. 150. Very, um, varying lengths of stations we have on the DLR here. It's, it's not that long. Uh, the stations are definitely not 175 metres, but I don't actually know what the, how, uh, their length off by heart. The next station... Oh, I've also just realised I built all of these underground. So, what I'm going to have to do is undo everything that I've just done and do it again. Um, how on earth do I get rid of everything? Is there a bulldoze? Does anyone know if there's a way to bulldoze everything that I've just done? Uh, there you go. Delete. D uh, what have I done? Can I not delete? Yeah, I've completely messed up. And I have no idea how to delete what I've just done. Can I select stuff and then... Uh, rotate, max speed. So we have deleting it. There we go. Just selecting it and pressing delete. Because, just realised, done it on the wrong level. So, starting all over again with, um... What's the next one? Shadwell? Where's Shadwell? Oh, Shadwell as well actually has to go because... That's, that's definitely elevated. Uh, so this is going to be up up in the sky. We're going to get Shadwell. 150 metres. Then we're going to do Limehouse. About 150 as well. There we go. These are elevated um, stations in real life. <laughs> Everything on the DLR pretty much is elevated. Apart from the branch up to Stratford. Which is ground level. And then... Uh, what's it? And then the tunnels for Bank, which are obviously in a tunnel, <laughs> sort of is implied in the name. There you go. Two men on a bench. That would be a really, really weird name for a station. Also, hello crazy. Yeah, I'm building the DLR. Ignore the fact I've completely messed it up already. Um, doing Heron Key now. The Docklands Enterprise. Nuffield Heath. Uh, then it was about... It was actually about here. There we go. 124... 125 metres. Then down here we have Cross Harbour. 125. Again, very in length of station on the DLR. At least in this, this universe. There is a mud chute. Then after mud chute, it uh, goes down into a tunnel, so it can tunnel underneath the Thames. I'll get it down to level 2, because it has quite a steep uh, downhill gradient. To then go to Island Gardens, and then after that you have Greenwich for... Well, Cutty Sark, really, for Greenwich. Um, Cutty Sark... 125, and then it pops back up onto the ground level, just so that it's level with uh, Greenwich Station, Mainline Station, over here. And then after that, it goes back up onto a viaduct for Deptford Bridge, which is over here. Lewisham Southwark College, not quite. It's going to have to rename all the stations on this line. And then after that, we have Elverson Road before terminating at Lewisham. 
Upton Road is actually also on the ground level. So what I said before is uh, inaccurate. There are more parts to the DLR that aren't also on viaducts. Um, it shows at the bottom actively. Oh yeah, to be honest, playing with money could be quite hard and the tunnels below the river, obviously. I built it realistically, it took me, an, I don't know, an hour. Both branches of Stratford are on the ground, right? Um, yes, I believe both of them are. I definitely know the original, the original 1987 branch up to Stratford is on the ground. I, yeah, I'm pretty certain the one also up to Stratford International is also on the ground off the top of my head. So that's Stratford Bridge. Then we have Elverson Road is about Brookmill Park, I would say. Yeah, it's about here. Apparently, again, another stop just for the gym, for all the gym goers. And then technically Lewisham, State, Lewisham DLR Station is technically underground, but not really. It's sort of built in the cut-in. It doesn't really have like, um, like a roof on top of it. It's like so, sort of sunken in the ground, but that's only because there's sort of an elevation where it is. So basically, long convoluted way of saying that I'm just going to build this in a tunnel to save me the hassle. There we go. Because if I want to build the mainline station at Lewisham, it's going to be really, really difficult with this DLR station as well, if it was on the ground level. Then again, the uh, mainline station is actually sort of elevated, so... Semantics, I guess? And all these stations so close together, they're basically, they basically have the same catchment area, let's be entirely honest. So, I think this will be fine to... Um, build all these blueprints. Did I delete... What's a deleted bank station? I'm gonna rebuild that. There we go, 175 meters. Build bank. Go for it and actually rename everything. Bank is clearing house. No, this is just bank. This over here is Shadwell. If I can select the name and get rid of it. This is not Iris's school. This is Shadwell. Next station is Limehouse. Limehouse. Then after that we have West India Key, right? West Ferry even. Um, then after that it's West India Key. But this is only in one direction it gets served. Uh, key. Then we have Canary Wharf. Which we can also do the, uh, we can do crossrail, I was going to say, well, the Elizabeth line actually, but should, should more be just crossrail. Canary Wharf, then do, uh, what's the one after it? Heron Key, which is technically closer. Her Heron, how do you spell Heron without spelling heroin? There you go. Key, Heron Key, which is technically closer to the Jubilee line and Elizabeth line platforms, but hey ho. I didn't even build Cutty Sark, I just forgot it, but I can't fix it yet. <laughs> yeah, to, to be fair, that is... Cutty Sark really is a station that most people just forget exists, even though it is sort of like the main station for Greenwich. It's just... It's Cutty Sark for Greenwich, but most people just get off because it's Greenwich proper. Uh, after that, we have South K Key. Key. Should probably capitalise both names, that would help. Then after that, we have the Isle of Dogs, but no, this is... Um, what's the one before Mud Shoot? Uh, Cross Harbour. Cross Harbour, then after that we have... What have I built? Um, Island Health Centre. Nope, this is Mud Shoot. Thankfully, it's right here on the map, so I actually know how to spell it, because if you told me... If you asked me how to spell Mud Shoot, just catch me off guard, I'll have absolutely no clue. Island Garden. It, it's, um... Is it gardens? Is it plural? It is plural. Island Gardens. Then Cutty Sark. Is that how you spell Cutty Sark? Yes, it is. For Maritime. Uh, time. Time. Greenwich. There we go. The long convoluted name. It's a bit like when your mother calls you by your full name instead of it just being, hold on, just being, not for the deaf, uh, Greenwich. She comes out with Cutty Sark 4 Maritime Greenwich, that's when you know you're in trouble. Uh, after that we have Deptford Bridge. Deptford Bridge. Since it was on a multiplayer save I can't fix it. Oh, oh hello, um, Deutsch. Deutsch, that word, that's, I think, I'm pretty certain that's German. I can't actually 
pronounced German. Oh, bridge, no. Rename this to Elverson Road. Road, and then we have Lewisham. Don't really know why it tries renaming it after like Glass Mill Leisure Centre. There wouldn't ever be a stop dedicated to a leisure centre like that, especially not a railway station. Maybe you'd get like a bus stop, but uh, that's probably the most you'd ever get. So now I have to connect these up. Um, if I can remember, there we go, that's how you do tracks. Yikes. Okay, so following the path of the DLR, sort of comes down through here up through here and then here is where it pops out of the tunnel then goes up to be elevated running alongside here to then come up to Shadwell from Shadwell then connecting up to Limehouse from Limehouse we'll get it down to uh, West Ferry pretty certain I haven't missed any any stops on the DLR, but there is no guarantees about that. Um, then try connect these two. There we go. Those are connected up, nice and easy. What I shall also do is create a bypass if I can remember how to double track mode. That's how you do it. Since it is in one direction, not in this direction, but it then bypasses. Bypasses West India Key, which I just realized is also four platforms, so whoops, gonna have to extend that at some point. Uh, but yeah. Okay. okay, guess I can't. Hold on, there we go. Get this to come around through like this. There we go, so it bypasses West India Key. And then get back double track mode, connect those up, Heron Keys, Heron Keys, take the 90 degree corner, again this is the DLRs, the trains can manage that without derailing, hopefully. There we go, connect that up to Cross Harbour, Mud Chute, so now Mud Chute down to Island Gardens, which I think goes on the ground level probably somewhere over here, and then goes into a tunnel, I'd want to say. So I think that's the tunnel section. I don't, I don't, I haven't really ridden the DLR past like Island Gardens or, well actually I say that, no, I've I haven't really ridden it past Canary Wharf, but I just, the part around like Island Gardens to Canary Wharf is sort of a blur. It's like, I don't really know what happens in this section. I know from here it's like, you know, you, you cut through the buildings, under, over, you know, you, you have the skyscrapers just built around the DLR here. That I, that I know for certain, but like everything else, I'm just like, I don't know what happens between like Mud Chute, Cross Harbour and Island Gardens. I think that's just for the best. That's probably uh, one of the worst parts of the DLR. Other than again, I say that, it is the part with uh, Mud Chute, so. Uh, so it goes from the ground immediately up onto, not in a tunnel, it goes up into, uh, not viaducts, but like raised section, get that going. And then now it's then uh, it's on technically kind of on the ground but also elevated and then I think it goes to be on the ground around here and then from Lewisham it's it's pretty much it's pretty much um, on the ground but that's gonna be hard to do so I'm just pretending like it's elevated elevated straight down to a tunnel section you know what it's we're not going for the realism here uh, where is oh yeah the depot is at Poplar isn't it well, that's going to be a bit of a pain to actually um, implement Poplar Depot. It'd be nice if I could spell it. Uh, there's also one at Beckton, but that would... Oh, that's going to be a bit difficult to actually implement. Also, that's... Um, I just... I've noticed Poplar Depot is really not positioned ideally for the Lewisham branch of the DLR. Well. Not, nor is Beckton because that's all the way in East London and why, why would you want to ever visit East London? Um, so here is Poplar. Uh, I will also create a... I guess I'll just do the depot here. So build all this, all the tra um, track connections. And then from here build a, another station on the ground which will be here, which will be... This shall be Poplar Depot. But this does create a problem again where it's like I don't 
really know how to get them onto this branch because Poplar just connects up. Tr traffic tree. Wait, what? Traffic light tree. Okay, um, so put the popular Poplar Depot even connects up like this up onto the Stratford branch. So trains would have to reverse from Stratford to go back down to Lewisham. I'm a bit confused. You forgot the L at Deptford. Yeah, I, I sorted that. Thanks for that. Um, three platforms West India Quay. Why are the overground stops so close together in, uh, in the Canada water area? <laughs> Look, you don't want to know. To be fair, it used to be a tube line. Um, the London overground in that section between Canada water and Surrey Keys down to New Cross. So, so it makes sense as to why they were so close together. But, and also Canada water didn't exist until the Jubilee line extension. So that doesn't help things either. They sort of just squeezed in a stop between... Where's kind of the water between? Sour Keys and... Um, what's, the, what's the station after? The, the the one that... You know, the Isambard Brunel um, Tunnel. What's, what's, what's after it? Wow, this is really proven that like my brain's completely fried. I've forgotten. <laughs> um, what's after... Also, why, I don't know why I'm looking at Greenwich. It should be over at... Um, Canada Water. I can even remember where the hell Canada Water is. Um, Rotherhive? Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's Rotherhive and Whopping. That's it. There we go. Rotherhive. Yeah. You... <laughs> Thanks. Um, don't care about making depots that large. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. Oh, that's sort of annoying. It's complaining about about that. There you go. Just I forget about. To be honest, this isn't going to be super realistic, but I don't see any other way of doing it without also creating the Stratford International branch, which I don't really want to do at the moment. So, um, connect up this, which will have to go over, have the 90 degree turn. Does that intersect? Have I done that wrong? I don't think I have. Um, and then over here would be Poplar, Poplar Station, which I uh, might as I might as well build it whilst I'm here, I suppose. Um, save me the hassle later on, but I'm not going to run a service just yet. And it's going to be uh, the most wonky connection you've ever seen, because instead I'm going to go like that. I don't, you know what? I I can't fix it later, so I might as well just do it correctly now to save um, me absolutely hating what I've, I, I've done. It's not going to be a massive depot over here at uh, Poplar. Poplar. Oh, okay, Pop Poplar is more over here. I've sort of messed it up, but you know what? It doesn't... It's fine. These are tiny little details, tiny little semantic... What is happening here? I just want you to connect. Is that too much to ask? There we go. Nice little connection. Um, there isn't a connection like that. It's just build these blueprints, change the name of this area down to nothing. That's Lewisham. Why is that's not what I wanted? Traffic light tree. No, this is Poplar Depot. Area nothing. Don't want people waiting here. Traffic light tree can be renamed to um, Poplar. Again, this also has four four platforms. Also, yes, uh, West India Key does look... That looks horrific. Yeah, it sort of sort of does. It will do for now. I'm just not going to zoom in too far to this area. I'll pretend like it doesn't exist. It's fine. Poplar, Poplar Depot. Get that going. Um, I don't know why this is going underneath the road here. Is that that's not what it? Is that what it does in real life? Because this is like an elevated two section, uh, two level elevated section. I changed the label. To name only, I, I recommend. To name only? Hold on. I have forgotten how to do everything. Confirm delete. I do not want to delete it. A... Uh, label full. Name, name only. You know what? I'm going to do name and passengers. I sort of don't care about what borough it's in. If anything, that just um, shows... Just what awful area it's in. Um, Tower Hamlets, not too bad. You know, could, could be better. Could be better than Tower Hamlets. And then when we cross over into Greenwich, this is a nice nice borough over here to be in Greenwich. The Royal Borough of Greenwich. They're a bit snobby over here. Deptford Bridge isn't in Greenwich. I'm pretty certain that's in Lewisham. 
Alverson Road and Lewisham is in Lewisham and once you've gotten to this part, this part is just basically like being in a war zone. So we want to avoid this part of the DLR. Uh, so next stop, do the lines. Create a new line. Gonna color code it on the DLR blue, which is sort of a teal color, more up like this, I'd say. Um, so this will be. This, um, it's gonna be from Lewisham. Lewisham to Bank, which is Lew to Bank. Doesn't really need to be abbreviated. Base ticket price, it could be one pound, what is it on the tube, one pound 75 now? Or one pound 80? I know for a fact, um, doing a single zone trip on the tube, um, going in the same zone is actually cheaper than taking the bus in London now, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, a war zone, are they in war with Southwark and Bromley? No, they're sort of just in a war with themselves, in fighting. That's why I always suggest to just avoid it. Um, so, purchase, no, add, not waypoints, add stops, so it goes from Lewisham, up Elverson Road, Deptford Bridge, Greenwich, um, Cutty Sark, Island Gardens, Mud Shoot, to Cross Harbour, to, um, South Ferry, South Quay, keep forgetting the name of that one, Heron Keys, Canary Wharf, uh, West India Quay, it does serve in this direction. Is it, is it on the way? Yeah, it's on the way back. So then West Ferry, then Lime House, then to Shadwell, and then after that into Bank. And on the way back, Shadwell, Lime House, West Ferry, and then it avoids at a waypoint because it actually avoids. Oh, it says it cannot find a path. Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Have I done it in the wrong direction? Um, I don't know, but I'll try adding another stop like that. So it's complaining they can't find a path from West Ferry. Even though there's a crossover point here, and then there is definitely a connection here. Um, that sounds fun. Maybe you should get a bus through Lewish. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that, trust me. <laughs> You're not going to survive it. Canary Wharf, and then after Canary Wharf. Go down to Heron Keys, South Key, Cross Harbour, Mud Chute, Island Gardens, Cutty Sark, Greenwich, Deptford Bridge, Elverson Road, and then back down to Lewisham. Which I'll just delete because that's not needed. Now, the only issue this line has is the fact there is no path from West Ferry to Bypass West India Key. Uh, why is that? It's the one-way signals, I... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yep. That would probably do it. Uh, move, edit, delete signals. So, this signal... Although, to be fair, then again... Um, yeah, this, uh, this is right-hand running, so I've sort of done this wrong. So, to make up for it, I might change it. So that instead of... It being in the direction it does in real life, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction. So, delete this waypoint, and then after... Where is it? Before Canary Wharf, after West Ferry, add West India Quay. Um, it doesn't actually want to stop at West India Quay, as it turns out. Wait, hold on. Add stop, not waypoint. And then after Canary Wharf, there it is, West India Quay, I'll delete it here. Canary Wharf, and then I'll add a waypoint so it goes in this direction. There we go. Because I've somehow made it be right hand running, even though we're in the UK. D look, it doesn't. Not not, not the best. Uh, custom period, the DLR runs every five minutes. So every ten in this game for now. Um, first train departure at six. Change that to about. About, about, about. Um, quarter to six instead. And then purchase some DLR trains, some BO, BO9s, B92s. I know I have the mod installed somewhere here. But I could put uh, some networkers onto the DLR, but I strangely think they're not going to actually fit. Uh, class 700s, no, no. Where is, where is the DLR? Um... Probably be underneath 
BR, if it's going by alphabetical. Intercity, BR, BR. Oh, I, I definitely had it. In, I, I had, I definitely did install it. That's um, one fifty class two o. No, not three one nine. Not three seven eight. Don't want to put the overground class on here. Um, B o seven. It should be near the top. Yeah, it's not. I'm assuming it is by alph alphabetical order, so it will be underneath B R. But underneath BI, I just have city trams. So that's uh, confused me. How, how can I have installed all these UK trains and not installed the DLR when I know for a fact it came in the same pack I installed all these other trains in? So, whoops. Um, should gonna very quickly check to make sure I have actually downloaded them. You know what? Turns out I haven't downloaded it, so gonna very quickly install those. Save this save the game. Um save game. Name it. I've forgotten to name it. DLR. Um some chance it's above BR because it's BO7. I thought Oh, you know what? Because it's not a zero. In my head I was thinking it was a zero, so it will be underneath R. Of course, of course it will be on top of there. Uh, give me like two moments just to very quickly relaunch the game because I have just installed. Oh wait, do I have to? Hang on, mods. All subscribe mods. It will. There we go. Don't even need to actually reinstall because it's over here. The Bo Sevens. There we go. Um. Auto run Lewisham to bank, there's 6 million. Let's purchase solid 10 to run that. You can just install them mid-game. I didn't even realize, honestly. I'm just used to like, uh, what, what's it called? Transport fever, where just if you try to do that, the game completely just perishes. Lines, this isn't, there we go. Now it's a passenger service. And then we can see our first DLR trains zooming about. There we go. There's there's the first one at Limehouse. It's picked up five people going down to uh, Lewisham, which is it's actually I was going to say the colours are inaccurate, but the new DLR trains that are coming onto the DLR to replace the B92 stocks and the B90 stocks um, actually are going to be in this colour scheme. It's sort of weird because it reminds me more of like the Paris Metro more than anything else. Uh, but you know what? I guess it makes sense. It sort of is a uniform colour scheme. Uh, just finished the West London line. I use six for the service every ten minutes. Okay, so ten probably is overkill. <laughs> just a tad. Uh, West India Key. There are... One person gone off at West India Key. What about at Canary Wharf? What I'm also probably going to do is change... Um, if we go over to the tracks, I might change the reach. Of like uh, West Ferry, so it's not. So it's more like local, more in this area, sorta. There we go. Then Canary Wharf, uh, Heron Key as well. I would want to reduce down its area because Canary Wharf, I sort of want to be the bigger station, um, and then Poplar as well. There we go. Six thousand people, five thousand at Heron Key. That sort of makes sense again. It's closer to the DLR, uh, not DLR, to the, to, what's the station called, um, to the Jubilee Line station than, than actual Canary Wharf. Seems like a bit of an oversight. Then Isle of Dogs, get that down. Okay, you got Cross Harbour, then Mud Chute, so it's not, it's not so big. Um, I guess it, I guess it can be like that, although, in saying that, Maybe if I made it a tad smaller than... Yeah, this sort of sort of covers the entirety of the uh, Isle of Dogs. Greenwich for Cutty Sark. As much as I would love to have like all the reach possible, it sort of is better to just have smaller reach. There we go, Deptford Bridge. And then Elverson Road, definitely doesn't have a reach of 20,000 people. That's for certain. Lewisham, on the other hand, might 
might be justified having a, a reach of 40,000 people. Island Gardens is huge. Yeah, it'll be worthwhile probably, probably making its reach a bit smaller. There we go, so that doesn't seem too bad. There's 66 people waiting at Limehouse. Um, so you can tell them to wait like eight minutes at Lewisham. And change how long they should stay at each station. How do I do that? Is it in lines? Oh, in ten minutes, that's a bit... Ten minute frequency is, um... Too much for this. Where is it? Manually pick stops. This I still haven't figured out how to do. Timetable. Line. State. Um, how do I choose which stations they should wait at? Because I would love them to wait at Lewisham. They can't wait at a uh, bank because that's not possible. Although then again, I, what I should have done is actually do the loop that um, the DLR trains do at bank. They don't do a loop, they they have a switchback. What am I talking about? I'm thinking of Kennington. Um, not bank, where is Island Gardens, Greenwich, and then Lewisham. Go back up to Lewisham. Um, that's, uh, how is it I do it? Yes in lines. I barely play number rails unless it's on multiplayer, I don't know why. Well, here I am playing it on single player modes, building myself the DLR. Uh, next up, it probably would be worthwhile doing the branch up to Stratford, which I will probably do. Um, yes, so how, how do I add, add secondary? But that I actually do know, that is very true. Probably should do that now that I think about it. Um, so that at Lewisham, I can secondary go over there, secondary platform. So you can come into either platform, because at peak times, that they definitely... That's actually what they do at Lewisham, is one train comes in, then the other train leaves. So, train comes in, leaves, train comes in, leaves. And that's how they manage a five-minute frequency on the DLR. Because obviously they can't really stand at bank, they sort of can, because it's a switchback service. So, they go into the tunnels past the uh, terminating platform at bank, go over here, and then switch back into the uh, departing platform. Although it does cause a bit of a bottleneck, to be honest. Especially because you have like the Woolwich services and uh, Stratford's, I was going to say international, but that's that goes down to, was it Stratford? No, it is Stratford International, no, Stratford International goes down to uh, Woolwich. There is another service that goes into Bank, or is it just Woolwich? Is it just Woolwich and Lewis I'm thinking of? Uh, are you going to do other lines like Jubilee Line? I definitely am. Stop mode equals custom time. Uh, where is stop mode? Stop mode, automatic, custom time. There it is. Fantastic. So they're going to wait here for a nice eight minutes. There you go. Actually, five minutes. No, you know what? I'll keep it at, keep it at eight. Eight minutes. Custom wait duration in this stop. So they'll sit here and just regulate at Lewisham. Just to make sure that they're constantly on time. And I will do the same up here at Bank. Uh, go down to bank to add a secondary signal. Comes into here, the secondary platform. So that if they ever do back up, they can use both platforms, even though that's not what bank does. Beckton. Uh, do the Beckton service. Um, yes, actually, I think you're right. Some Beckton services terminate at bank. But the large majority. No. No, a large. No, no, no. All Beckton services terminate at Tower uh, Gateway or Cannon Town. They don't go into bank unless it's in the evenings, I think. I know there is another service that goes into bank, but I can't remember what. Um, actually, speaking about that, it probably would be worthwhile then continuing the DLR down to... Should we do the Woolwich branch, Stratford branch? You know what, might as well do the original DLR first. So what I'll do is then build a, another ground level station. Um, so from Poplar, from Poplar, then goes up to All Saints. Uh, if we take a look at the map, you can't see this, but I can. I'm just using this as a reference to be sort of accurate, so that I don't get like a massive grilling in the comments. Next up is All Saints, which is literally a. It's technically here, but because I've messed up the placement of Poplar, I sort of need to place it more like. Well, yeah, I sort of need to, you know, if I place it like this, this will be fine. Oh, Crisp Street Market. 
Oh, fantastic. That is so. This is actually close enough to um, All Saints because I know that's where the 108 goes. Uh, Crisp Street Market. Doesn't need to be that long. 100 meters. This is also. Is it on the ground? I don't. I've, again, this is also another one of those branches of the DLI I haven't actually been on myself, so I, I'm pretty certain this one is on the ground, but I cannot for the life of me actually know. I was going to say remember, but then again, I haven't actually been on this branch. Because mostly, if I'm ever in this side of London, it, um, coming from south, then I just take the 108. Next up is Devon's Road, which is... Oops. Is it, is it all the way up to Devon's Road? Because that seems like... No, there is Langdon Park. I knew I was missing out something. Langdon Park is just after... Just after um, All Saints. Over here, this is where Langdon Park is. It's actually got the name correct, so I don't need to change that. Then after that, it goes over the river, then it's at Devon's Road. Not Prospect Park. There we go. Um, then after that, we have Bow. Bow Church. After Devon's Road, which is right over here. get it in so that it's not clipping anything. There we go. Bow, and then after that it connects up to Stratford over here, which is going to be really complicated. I'm going to have to build multiple stations for this, because this is only just the start. Uh, then it goes direct to uh, Stratford, which the station would be about here. Yeah, this massive space over here would be where the station is. To be fair, the DLR does sort of have its own um, space and own platforms up here at Stratford. It's it's a bit secluded and a bit like um, just out of the way compared to the rest of the platforms, especially Beckton Interbank, Beckton to Tower Gateway, just the watch ones, yes, on the ground I checked. Ah, nice, okay, thanks for that. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the Beckton services are just the Tower Gateway and popular now because uh, TFL want to increase the frequency of the services. Okay, that's not really sort of don't want them to be like that, but you know what? Oh, that's this is really ugly. <laughs> sort of regret even doing this. But, okay, so I'll build that for now. Uh, then on the ground, connect up to there, and connect this through here. Um, let's try and tunnel that. I suppose you should be actually going over it on a viaduct, on a bridge, on the ground, connects up to bow. Uh, then it will curve around here and then follow uh, the main line. It is, it is very strange how... Um, so I need this to be up on a viaduct, I suppose, to cross over the bridge. Uh, yeah, no, it is very strange how, like, when they were plugging this in to Stratford, they just, well, like, can't really be bothered to make it fit anywhere, so you know what? Just put it out of the way, uh, which I think has sort of cost them in terms of it's really not easy. It's, it's, it is very much out of the way, and you wouldn't even. I've actually genuinely never been at the um, the these this uh, these platforms for the DLR at Stratford. <laughs> That's how out of the way they are. But there we go. Build everything here. Then uh, go back to tracks. Go over to West Ferry, name and passengers, Limehouse, name and passengers, Shadwell, name and passengers, because I don't care what borough they're in. Poplar, Crisp Street Market, which I shall rename to um, All Saints, ideally capitalising it, name and passengers, uh, decreasing its range, so it's a bit, a bit smaller. As a smaller catchment range, name and passengers, Langdon Park. This is oh no, actually this is this is the one where I don't have to do anything because that's actually correct. Its area again, could just be slightly smaller. Prospect Park. This is uh, Devon Roads. Oh, Devon Road, right? Or is it Devon? Devon's Road. It's plural. Full name and passengers. Decrease the size. Bow. This is Bow Church. 
or Bromley by Bow. Alden, isn't there Bromley by Bow on this branch? Oh, I've missed Pudding Mill Lane. Of course I have. There's always one that I just forget. Pudding Mill Lane's over here. You know what? I might as well just um, slot it in. Uh, this should be elevated because I know it's elevated in real life. There we go. Build that and then connect it up to the main line. It's not pretty, but it shall do. Connect that all up and then Bow Church, then change this to. Um, I've already forgotten the name of the station. That's Put in Mill Lane. Put in. Is it one, it's one word? Put in Mill Lane. No, it's not one word, it's two words. Put in Mill Lane. Name and passengers. Decrease its radius. Do the same for Bow Church. So it'll also be a tube station, although actually I've already done it for Bow Church. And then after that, we have Stratford. Just a final stop. But now I'm just going to watch the system. All right, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, oh, yeah. You're going to be working on your New York subways uh, save. Yeah, good. Good luck with that. That seems well. It's not. It's not too bad, I suppose. It could be worse. Um, but I almost feel like. It, for a game like this, it would have been better to have actually probably started off with a simpler save than doing, well, London. But you know what, I sort of went with something simple. It was either that or I'd start with the trams, which I feel like is a bit too simple. And I've been doing um, the south southeast of London and just England in general way too much. Because uh, that is sort of my bread and butter and what I know most. I can also actually change the... Um, how do I... I've forgotten how to change. Because I do have the UK platforms mod <laughs> so I can change the materials and stuff although I think it's a bit too late to do that I've completely forgotten how to do it uh, create station it's not no it's not that oh well um, well it's almost finished I just need to finish Manhattan and Brooklyn that's not too bad to be honest uh, or st I'll start with the Waterloo and City. You know what, to be fair, since I have bank, I, I probably should actually also build the Waterloo and City whilst I'm here, shouldn't I? Um, there isn't any way, also, wow, look at the amount of people waiting over here. Oh, all sucked up onto the DLR train. 112 people. Um, all heading off to Canary Wharf, Limehouse, Lewisham. To be fair, it would cost a bit more than £1.80 to go all the way to Lewisham from Bank, but that's beside the point, I suppose. Price per kilometre is probably like 30 pence. I don't think it's that much uh, in London. It's a zone system, but I don't know how much it is in price per kilometre. Do that. Uh, next up, create a new line. Create a new line. Do this from... Bank to actually no, because this is Canary Wharf to Stratford, which is oh, Canary Wharf does actually have a um, station code now because of the Elizabeth line. It's CWX. Well, that's not memorable at all. CWX Canary Wharf to to STR. That's Stratford's. That's not Stratford's. That's. I've forgotten Stratford's. Oh, it's SRA. That's it. It was something like that. Base ticket price 180. Price per kilometre 130. So you're paying more if you're going further. This line has a sort of darker colours about like this. Um, add in a new station. To be fair, it does go from Lewisham as well during the peaks, but um, that would be a bit extensive. I have 290 trains running 23 out of 25 lines. That's not too bad, honestly. Some of them always be half finished. Is it possible to do like peak time extensions with this? Or would that require like intricate timetabling, which is probably a bit too advanced for me? <laughs> I'll probably not. I'll start stuff at Canary Wharf. Uh, then it serves West India Quay and goes around to Poplar. Then we go up to All Saints, Langdon's Park, 
Devon's Road, Bow Church, Puddin Mill Lane, and then up to Stratford before coming back. Puddin Mill Lane, Bow Church, Devon's Road, Langdon Park, All Saints, Poplar. Ideally not going to the depot, actually serving West India Quay um, in the off direction. And then, did I put Heron Quay? No, I put Canary Wharf. Clearly the last stop there, and it comes back into Canary Wharf, which should have more platforms than it currently does, but... Yes, but timetable is hard to understand at first, so you can copy line colours. You, you are to need 1992 stock. I do also actually have the 1992 stock installed. Is it possible to move some trains over from this line onto this uh, new branch I've created? I suppose I'd have to do it from here. Back to Lewisham. Can I change your, um, what route you're doing? Replace, clone, uh, sell, well, okay. Guess I'll sell them. There we go. Sell three, four, I'd say four. So there's six trains doing that. Um, and then get four new BO7s. I should actually also have 92, 38, 90, 92 stock. Uh, do I not have, I, I'm pretty certain I also have the B92 and B, yeah, I have the B90, the B92, and the B2K stock, but those aren't installed, so it's a bit confusing. Um, maybe they haven't been, they weren't downloaded when I last checked. Go over to mods, enable everything. There we go, I do actually have them now, so I can... Well, it says they're installed, but I don't actually see them in my menu. Are they on the DLR? Class 484, I could, I could go with the D stock <laughs> again. Oh, there it is actually. It is DLR B90, which doesn't look like the B90 stock at all. Um, I'll go with the DLR reds and I'll probably get not 10, I'll probably get not even 6, 4 probably. Canary Wharf to Stratford. Purchase these trains and then this line can be passenger service. For stop manually picked stops. So I'll probably go off to Stratford. This is where I'll let them at a custom time. So they sit here for five minutes. Oh five, not fifty. That would be absurd. Um, then also pick. Oops, not not that. I wanted to pick the secondary signal, so it comes up into here. Then the platform it would go into is this one. Oh, wait, hold on. No, this one. There we go. So now we should have some more DLR trains on the go. And there we go, we have one making its way round as we speak. Map options, can I not see speed lines overlay? There we go. So that is, this is the um, Canary Wharf Lewisham, you know, slash slash, um, to Stratford. You see it? Uh, press orders. I tried, oh, you can copy line colours. I. Okay, yeah, I figured that. I tried it myself, but I kept on having a problem with two trains running at the same time. If you get the money, they will replace Tower Gate with a new interchange called uh, Thames Wharf, I believe. I don't... I'm not 100% certain on... I think there have been, like, plans and ideas to do that, because, t let's be honest, Tower Gateway was built on the cheap and it doesn't really connect with anything. Technically, it connects with Tower Hill, but not really. Um, and, to be fair, it's sort of inadequate now for, as a terminus. You only really get the Beckton uh, services terminating there. Sometimes you might get the occasional service that's, I, I don't know, can't go into bank for whatever reasons it will terminate there, but it only has one platform now. Uh, so it is sort of... Oh, press press the arrow at the auto run line to see its interval. Uh, where is... Where is... Where, where was that? The arrow? Uh, custom time? No. Oh, you know what? It's when I bought it, wasn't it? Um, yeah, auto run, wait, hold on, auto run line, uh, manual orders, I mean, I could do that, but it ain't worth it, also, I've just, those are one car DLR trains, we really are doing, like, the government in the 80s, building this on the complete cheap, and then being surprised Pikachu face when it's overcrowded, um, Next up would probably be the branch down to Beckton and Cyprus, but instead of doing that, what I actually want to do is build the Waterloo and City line. Because <laughs> I might as well whilst I'm here. Um, I don't actually know what direction the platforms face at Waterloo. Uh, how do I get up? 
It's a tube, tube, uh, underground diagram. Because uh, I would love to see actually what direction the platforms face at Waterloo. Oh, they actually face down to the south. That's sort of interesting. Oh, but this, this, um, hold on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Freedom of Information Request. LU Track Map. Again, can't see this, but that's probably for the best because I don't accidentally dox myself. Uh, it's, it's below default timings on the line menu. Oh, is it? Under lines menu, it is default time. Oh, is that under here? Oh, oh, yeah, under. Uh, oh, okay. First train departure, first stop station zone, evenly spaced to fit one line loop on a fixed manual interval. This requires too much. Too much uh, work to do for me right now, considering only just new to this. Um, with that being said, uh, yeah. Although, to be fair, the what I'm looking at doesn't actually have the DLR. Or is it this? Or is this just showing? I was gonna say underground stations at the DLR, but it doesn't. Although it does show Oldwich. I don't know what what era is this from. Of to see the tracks into Charing Cross. Uh, yeah, so the platforms at Waterloo on the Waterloo and City Line are actually heading south and are quite close to Lambeth North. So they're heading in this direction. Uh, create a station. It'll be depth 2 station, I think. Not Doodle. 250 meters? There we go. I suppose it's not really possible for me to build another add more platforms to the default bank station uh, since I've already built it so um, I might just create a new station I guess technically there should be so that's monument down here I think the bank station is sort of like here like this for the Waterloo and City line do that at 250 meters there we oh actually no because then that's gonna affect the radius of that so whoops um is it you can add more platforms what are you using i have no idea honestly um how do i how do i add more platforms append the tracks to create new ones uh can i add in a new platform i don't know that's just i'm just building more track i have no idea what i'm doing Create stations, create... Um, you can connect stations together as well. Oh, that's interesting. Use automatic name. Uh, no, not an area. Build, no. Selection, probably not that. Split and tape, create stations, create new buildings, move, delete, edit signals, create new signals. How, how do I um, connect up two stations? Because I would probably want it to be facing in this direction about here so I'll build I'll, I'll build this station here then I'll connect these two together create station button got ya then what curves tracks and buildings drive on oh would be probably ideal if I had this ticked drive on the left or double platforms uh, you know it's a bit late now for bank and the DLR is on the wrong side but that's fine and then just build it next to bank below the current platforms okay it's built oops there we go connect um, how do we connect these two then I'm assuming I have to collect um, the moment to normal track keep platform straight select both of those UK stations pack no and then just build it next to... Yep, I've done that. New collection. Or is this too far away to be like the same station? The button below the station. The button below the station. Um, drag, select, rotate, 
set. Okay, create new building. Right. Building next to it. Create, create uh, new buildings. Oh, I'm assuming this is like a walkway then. Oh, it'd be a ideal if I. Yeah, well, I've sort of done that now, haven't I? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> Okay, so create new buildings. Um, you know what? I'm gonna quickly. Button on the far right to create new buildings. Wait, is it? On the far right? <clears throat> Button on the far right on create new buildings. Oh, wait, hold on. So, on create new buildings on the far right. Full building details? No. Oh. That's, I don't think that's what you mean. Um, left click to create a new building. That's not right, I suppose. Don't select any stations. Oh, don't select any stations. Okay, so the one pops up with the building you can do, the one with the arrow pointing down. So, this. Don't have anything selected though. Wait, hold on. I do. Um, do tracks, create new building. Platform, oh. Pla uh, platform footprint extension. I suppose it's this. Oh, was that the correct button? Getting a little tutorial in real time on how to play this game. Label would rather not have more labels because there's enough here, honestly. Oh, that's how you. Okay. I see. Yeah, okay. I, thanks for that. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's, it's really not intuitive on like how you connect stations up like that. But you know what? Glad I got there in the end. Probably convert all this to be bank and then... Should I do a separate station for monuments? Because it has a different name, but I don't know if it's possible to have two different names on the same station. Probably I'm just going to do two separate um, stations. Oh, that's the station. I want to actually create some tracks. No, I want double track. Um, then, so looking at the diagrams for the tracks, it sort of curves underneath like this. And then goes through black fries. Goes around this and then it goes in a straight line up to bank. There you go, this is a Waterloo and City line. Um, build all blueprints, builds. 
the depot, thankfully. All underground, and it's literally just behind the platforms at Waterloo. So I don't even need to worry about uh, doing it, building anything extravagant. Um, then build a station down here. Ideally, one that sort of connects up. Um, 170 meters, even though I'm pretty certain the 1992 stock is longer than that. Um, so, dot only, because don't need that. Automatic name, Waterloo. Depot. Actually, you know what? W and C. Depot. Area, nothing. Should also probably change the material, to be honest. So that it's more. Well. Um, that. Build. Build that. So I can then select. Oops. Go over here. Select this. Can I then change? Oh yeah, I can. That's how you change it. Um, so what I would prefer to do is change the like awnings so that there isn't. It isn't supposed to be awnings. Why can I not change it? Well, I guess it's because I've already built it. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to delete these objects. There we go, connect it up. That's Waterloo and City Line. Doddle, nope, this is Waterloo. Waterloo, naming passengers. Waterloo to bank. Create a new line. Not, oops. Not that was a mistake. Create a new line service, that's not actually what I wanted to do. But uh, I suppose we're here. Whoopsie. Yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. Um, create a new line. This will be the Waterloo and City line. I've noticed we have gone for a very blue themed uh, map at the moment because this is another teal coloured line on the tube, actually. <laughs> oh, I. Not, not intentional, actually. It really shouldn't have been. I kind of don't want to go with like the um, Victoria line nor the DLR's teal. I kind of need it to stand out, but it's, that would be really hard to do. Um, all things considered, add in a not waypoint. I'll add in a stop. Goes from Waterloo to Bank, shuttling back and forth all day. I could get two trains, but you know what? It's not, not really worth it. So instead, I'm going to get. Um, the 90s. <laughs> do, do, do you want to put the 72 stock in it? I don't. I don't feel like uh, torturing the 92 stock. Sorry, the 72 stock any more than it's already been tortured. Default base color. Oh, it, it doesn't have a London Underground corporate livery decal. That's a bit unfortunate. She sort of does, but not really at the same time. I wish it was possible to actually... Can I change the door? I can't change the door colours, can I? Edit as custom train. So I can do... Three cars. Um, there are four car trains on the 1992 stock. Uh, use line... Oh, there we go, actually. So I can make it be red. There we go. And then purchase a train. We don't need more than one to run the Waterloo and City line. Oh, I've added it as a... You know what? Just pretend like you didn't see anything. <laughs> damn, um... Damn. Sell this train. Do it all over... Wait, hold on. Did I...? No, I did do it right, okay. Um... Add in stations, redo everything. I'm doubting myself heavily. Passenger service, get the trains for it. Purchase the train, there we go, and it should be off. Doesn't really matter if it runs to time or if it's late, it's a one train shuttle. Um, well, the WNC runs four car 92 stocks, so you can't change it after it was built already, I think. Delete the button. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Connect them by building new platforms right next to the current ones. I mean, you can connect them and then call it Bank Monument. 
Oh, that's actually very true as well. Yeah, I, I could do that bank slash monument because it's it's sort of annoying. This area is bank. This is monument, but they're connected, so it's like one giant station. And then also you have uh, the Cannon Street entrance, uh, which is I think here. So this could be bank, monument, Cannon Street. And then there's also some entrances down at like um, what's what's it called? Like not Liverpool Streets. It's um, it's not even connected to Moorgate, I guess. No, because that's Crossrail. It's Elizabeth Line. But yeah, it's, it's sort of just one giant station now, Bank. What line next? I think the next line that would be ideal is... Um, sort of wanting to connect up with the network we have now, so it would probably have to be something from Bank. Taking a look at the map, we don't have much of a choice other than either doing the District, Circle, um, Central or Northern. Those are giant tube lines, and not 100% certain if I'd want to dedicate myself to doing all those. Although, to be fair, I wouldn't mind doing the, um, what's it called, district and circles. Circle line. Actually, the circle line would probably be worthwhile doing. Although that, again, would necessitate, like, building plenty of stations in central London. Remembering their positions as well. Um, so, after that, then we'd have... So, so we'd have to build monuments, then Cannon Street, then up to Tower Hill. Um, Mansion House as well. It might be worthwhile actually doing that, to be fair, doing monuments. Four stations in, <laughs> in one, all different names, yeah, that's true. At least it isn't complex in... Oh, wow, wait, hold on, really? Well, I mean, to be fair, it sort of is like... Four separate stations, well, three separate stations all connected now, Bank, Monument, and Cannon Street. And then you also have Mansion House, which isn't too far away, so technically it sort of is like that, but not not, not exactly. It's vaguely like that. I might, um... What should I do? Should I feel like... You know what, I might do the central... Central line down to Oxford Circus, maybe, because that connects up to Stratford, but then that's more 1992 stock. I kind of don't want to do, I kind of want to build like the D stock and do that. Um, but it might be worthwhile actually. I could also do C2C actually from Fenchurch Street, get them out to um, Barkin. Yeah, you know what? I might I'm actually gonna do that instead. Instead of doing an underground line, I'm actually gonna do C2C, the often forgotten about railway um, in London. The operator because they literally have one line their own main terminus and you know what good on them because it means that often not late not delayed quite quite good to be honest um yeah i'd probably go up to barkin so i'd have to do limehouse and west ham then barkin um so from fenchurch street which again is sort of in the tower hill area as well um, around monuments, Fenchurch Street is Saint, that's Saint Mary's Axe. Um, what road is it on? It's on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I will find it. Not Whitechapel, Spitterfields. I think I'm pretty certain it's around here. Maybe I'm thinking a bit too. Because this is ta um, that's Tower Hill. Tower Hill up here. If you go up here, then it's around here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's here. This is where Fenchurch Street is. Fenchurch Street Station. You wouldn't be able to tell um, because it doesn't look it, but it's also another one of those stations that is sort of, sort of like um, London Liverpool Street, where it's half underground, half overground. So it makes it sort of hard to actually build, but um, I think what I shall do instead is a third rail. Oh, no, because it uses, it uses overheads. Don't want to use H, um, HS1 track, so I'll do the UK 160 kilometers per hour. Um, put that onto key number two, and then build the station, which is—is is it really that close to St Mary's Axe? Or have I gotten it completely wrong? No, it's not. It's not. It's not right opposite St Mary's Axe. It's actually more like. It really is really really close actually because it's more here I'd say. Is it? Link up there. Um, trying 
Lucky Square Gardens, which is this. And it's up here. And yes, okay, so this is where it is. There we go, got there in the end. Um, full mainline station, so it'll probably be Spinix Disc, Disc Clinic. No, I don't want it to be named after a clinic. Uh, I don't know why, but I like C2C probably because of their free. Three five sevens. Um, yeah, CTC. Is, to be fair, CTC is actually a pretty interesting operator in terms of they are pretty good at what they do, and their uh, three five sevens are. It's interesting how they've decided to go with that instead of. Um, let me get the platforms in. Uh, to be fair, the platforms at Limehouse are. Well, they're more curved and go up in this direction more than anything, but I don't actually know how to do curved stations. <laughs> They're also a lot longer than that, so I'm going to have to extend these. 250, 250, uh, 300 meters. 290. Uh, yes, um, it is really interesting how they've gone with Electrostars, but then they have the Turbo Star fronts. It's a bit weird, not 100% certain why it was done in that manner. And um, why did they decide to go for that f um, for the fronts, that type of front on their trains? But you know what, it makes them interesting. Makes them pretty unique, um, so I can't complain too much. And after that is, then it goes express down to West Ham, which will be around Stratford area around here. Um, then they stop off at what direction is West Ham? Ah, the National Rail Station is heading in a north to south. Uh, sorry, not north to south, east to west direction. Uh, over here, and that's where it is. Oops, the idea if I was creating a station. There we go, 330 meters. And then after that, it's straight up to Barkin with uh, Plasto, Upton Park, East Ham, all that in in the mix. To be honest, whilst doing this, I might as well be also um, doing the uh, district. But you know what? That's that's for the next part. I prefer the three seven five, the three five seven. Sorry, not the three seven fives. The three seven fives are something completely different. So for his barking, and it's actually been named as barking, so I don't have to come back and fix that. So build all this. Oh, actually, to be fair, this one is levitate. Uh, not levitate. It's um, elevated. Select. I'd actually want to delete that, delete these objects, um, because that's not, it's actually more on the ground. Um, at Barkin. There we go, get Barkin, get 650 meters. It's not that long, it's 500. There we go, build that. Uh, then create uh, the tracks. It would be worthwhile. You know what? Whilst I'm here, I am actually going to also build East Ham and uh, Plasto and Upton Park and all those stations in between. So the next station is East Ham. This is going to be a four-track layout. Two hundred. Uh, you know what? Two hundred meters. Because tube trains aren't that long, uh, but this does have to accommodate National Rail when sometimes they decide to stop there, which isn't often. Uh, go closer. Prefer if it didn't look. There we go. There we go. Get that through there. Then Upton Park. Upton Park with its four platform layout. Which looks like it does, I can't actually fit here. But I will still squeeze it in. There we go. 200 meters. And then after that, we have uh, Plasto. Um, plaster being through here. And yeah, these are going to be the fast trains up to Barkin. I always forget that they do have fast trains out to Barkin in their section of London with the district running alongside. The 376 is alright, even though it's a gangway ish. Gonna be entirely honest, um, even though they look okay, the 3776s inside, they're, a, they're an absolute state and they're. The um, spec that they went for, the fact that they don't have proper air conditioning. Oh, there's also probably by bow. Probably should should probably do that whilst I'm here as well, since um, that will save the hassle later on. Uh, yeah, no. So the interior of the three seven six is is absolutely abhorrent, and they haven't been re refurbished in a good 
when was the last time they were ref they haven't been refurbished at all actually <laughs> um yeah so they're just abhorrent uh which is a shame because it's properly like not that bad it doesn't look that bad but just inside there uh, a mess. Wasn't there like a bus crash in London where a bus hit an ambulance or so? They've been... I'm going to be entirely honest, there are plenty of those that have happened in London. Um, this is probably by... Probably... By... Bow Station? Passengers only. Decrease the radius, doesn't need to be so large. Uh, yeah, no, so there have been also like... Bus crashes where they've crashed into um, a fire truck. Um, plenty of taxi cab ones. Um, West Ham, um, into minicabs, and yeah, so it's just basically a case of like, name, name a type of vehicle and a London bus is probably smashed into the back of it. There you go, get it so it covers all that, then after that it's Plasto, passengers only. Get this to be a smaller area. And more people um, live around Plaster than actually live in West Ham, even though that has a larger air uh, radius, which is interesting. Uh, then Upton Park. You know what, to be honest, it actually would probably be worthwhile. Upton Park. Oops, capitalize it. It is going to be worthwhile if I actually also ran the district line, isn't it? Uh, then what is after? It's East Ham. East Ham, there it is. East Ham. Yeah, judging by the amount of people living at these stations, absolutely worthwhile running the district line in between it, because apparently barking, larger radius, not as many people as living in East Ham, so, yeah. Then also we have, where is it, where, where's the station, where, there it is, the Spinnex Disc Clinic, which will become Fenchurch Street, Fenchurch Street, um, which will go down to being... There we go, and now connect them all up. So this will be elevated, and it's not going to connect up with the DLR tracks. It's just going to run alongside them because they're two different modes. Don't want to get them mixed up. And then it runs past Shadwell, um, stopping at Limehouse. Which is completely... What on earth has happened here? What is... What is the game trying to... Huh? I... No, don't... No, no, no. Don't do that. Get this going like that. And then connecting up to here. And then... Well, it sort of is heading in the wrong direction now. Um, so I'll just quickly correct it because it should be running up to here to then come up through to Bromley by Bow going over down to West Ham then through um, and through like this Ah, that's a bit of an issue. They're complaining about the road colliding. Double track mode. Get that going up into there. Connect this up like that. And then connect this up like this. There we go. So it's uh, double tracked when leaving. Um, and then I will just continue the double tracked section. There we go. Upton Park, through to East Ham, and from East Ham, coming around to Barking. There we go, and then continuing these tracks around. There we go. So now it connects up to Barkin. Again, Barkin needs small platforms, but oh well. Uh, something like that has happened in my city just over around when an ambulance-ish vehicle crashed into a tram. But to be fair, it seems like that happens quite a lot in uh, Europe where just things crash into trams. Okay, so we have... So I can run a little service between Bromley by Bow to Barkin on the district line. 
um, create a new line. So I'll do the district with a green, dark green. So this will be, oops, I'm going to change the name of this so that it is the Waterloo um, City. This will be the, uh, give it the code, the drain. Oh, and also I've just made it free, which not not ideal. Um, give it quite an expensive price per kilometer. Rename this to the district line, um, which will be from Bromley by Bow, BBB. Um, what codes? <laughs> don't, don't know what code to give Bromley by Bow. You know, bow to bark, bow bark. Again, oops, taking a screenshot. One for the archives. Give it price a price per kilometer of that. Add in a station. Add in some stations of Bromley by Bow, West Ham, then uh, Plasto. So it will stop in. Let's go on the left, so it would be in this direction. 3E. And then over... Actually, hold on, no, no. Yes, yeah, because that's that will be the stopping services with the fast services going on the outside. So 3E, and then terminating that barking. Coming back. East Ham. Up to... Oops, not in that platform. That's not ideal. Terminating... There we go, up Upton Park, then Plasto for West Ham and then terminating at Bromley by Bow and then create a new line which will be uh, C C2C which will be London Fenchurch Streets which will be what, what codes does Fen uh, F FST yep so it will be FST FST, London Fenchurch Street, down to Bark. I'm pretty certain it's... Is it? It's Bark and just... Um, it's BKG. BKG. Barking. This will be more expensive, so it will be base price of 180, but price per kilometre will be probably up to 80. Um, add in some stops. So the first one's going to be at... Fenchurch Street, then down to Lime House, then up to Skipping Bromley by Bow, then West Ham, and then all the way up to Barking. Um, probably, I, probably gonna have to put. Uh, I think I think this is fine. I don't think I need to put way, uh, waypoints, but um, for good measure, maybe it'd be worthwhile. Um, so that it's actually does use these outer tracks there we go and then yeah that I think that that, that does keep it on the uh, correct track and then on the way did I I think I put that on the hang on uh, which what waypoint was this you no know I can't remember so I'm just gonna redo it because it has to be over here need to remind myself that it is hold on um yep so from west ham going to barking because we're on the left going that direction then from barking set it so that it's on the fast which will be on the outside it can't find a path okay that's a bit of a problem um then stopping on the outside yeah that's fine that works and then add in a station at West Ham, stopping at West Ham, stopping at Limehouse before then coming down to um, Fenchurch Street. Purchase some trains. Uh, I do have the three seven, the three five sevens even. There it is, the three five seven Electro Stars. Get it in. Oh, I can't get it in C two C. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is close enough actually. To be fair. Uh, get it down to be four cars. This has no power apparently. Auto run a line, C2C. 
purchased two trains to do this. How have I put? Why have I purchased three trains? Uh, self select a train, just wanted two trains to do C2C. Um, line C2C, this goes into a pink colour. That's the colour of C2C. Uh, then after that, districts, get this to be a passenger service. Oh, why can it not find a path from, from Barkin up to this waypoint? I'll delete that, I suppose. Fine, and then district line, this will be a passenger service, and I'll purchase some new trains. I actually want the D stock. I might get the um, class 484s, maybe. Uh, though that wouldn't be in the spirit of things, I guess I could. I could if I really wanted to. Um, do I have... Do I have the D stock installed? I do not think I do. I don't even think I have the S stock. Um, I was... The London Underground stock. I have it somewhere. It will be under. Not in BR. Not not there. There it is. LU 38, 72, and 92. So I don't have the D stock, so I suppose. I'll use the 484s. Four Where are they? How have I completely lost them? I literally just had them. Sprinter, Meridians, Electrostar, Capital Stars, Pendolinos. No, don't want any of those. I want not the not the class seven, six, eights. Those just haven't seen a day of service and have already been withdrawn. There it is. Class four eight four B trains. Auto run align the districts. Purchase, um, go with four trains actually for this because it probably would need it. Bow to bark. There we go. But uh, yeah, so with that running, how many passengers are waiting at Fenchurch Street? We have no one waiting at Fenchurch Street because, of course, uh, one passenger actually wanted to go up to Fenchurch Street from Limehouse. So they, 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 they want the speedy connection into the city, even though the DLR will take them further in. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you like the game? You know what? I give it a solid probably 7. Really do quite like it. It's not too bad. West Ham. No one is waiting at West Ham, apparently. This is a bit of an issue. Um, then we have C2C. I actually kind of want to see what C2C does. Did I, did I skip Plasto? Um on the district because they should be stopping there stopping at plasto what's the time oh it's one in the morning that's why that'll be why there's no one waiting that makes a lot of sense there isn't a night service on the district line not yet at least speed up the service again it's probably really inefficient to actually have Oops, there we go. Now it's 7 in the morning. Really inefficient to actually have a night service running all throughout the night on the entire network. But you know what? It's fine. I was like, hello, Tico. Um, the DLR probably justifies it. Is it 800? Jesus Christ, there's 800 people wasting that um, East Ham. How many people are... Is the um, 484 is able to hold? Clearly not enough. Where's this train going back? Have I... I think I've messed something up on... Yeah, I've definitely messed something up with the district line. So it goes from... Wait, hold on. West Ham to Bromley... Okay, so Bromley by Bow, then West Ham, then Plasto, then Upton Park, then East Ham, then B to Barkin. Barkin to East Ham, to then Upton Park, to Plasto, to West Ham. So it should work, but for some reason they're going express. It's like um, we're on the Metropolitan line. They also really cannot hold... Oh, they can only hold 200 passengers. That would probably explain it. As to why... It's really busy. How many people are on there? 65. Um, there's only 8 people. I'm so confused. Hold on. Why... Why on earth are they not... I don't understand. I've messed something up somewhere. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. This trait. We have district lines running fast. 
alongside C2C trains. I do not get it. And like no one no one boarding that East Ham. Actually going in the direction they want to go in. Um they've paid how much okay, how many people are waiting? So there's fifty people waiting to go down to Bow Church. Which is literally a couple of stops. Actually no. Wait, hold on, Bow Church wait, hold wait, 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 wait. They want to go Bow Church? No bloody wonder. Yeah, no bloody wonder they're not getting on, because it's... How on earth? That means they have to interchange at Limehat. Jesus. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of people waiting um, for the DLR. Um, so, most amount of people are waiting to go to Canary Wharf. <laughs> Gee, I can't imagine why. Okay, so... Maybe it will be worthwhile replacing all our DLR trains on the bank to Lewisham branch. Let's replace all of these with um, larger, not two car, three car trains? How many can these hold? These can hold uh, 40, 47? Oh, so um, 100, 200, 300, so 300 people. There we go, and on top of that, also going to need to uh, actually up the frequency and put some more trains on on um, uh, the, the, the Lewisham branch. Uh, been, some have been waiting for 90 minutes, sounds like I are on something on... Like the Northern Line, yes. There's a reason why it used to be nicknamed the Misery Line. Where is... Um, what should I put... I don't think I'm going to put more B07s. I might instead put... Where are they? The B.O. The DLRs. There it is. Some of these. Because we ideally need more passengers. So instead... Because these can hold 100 people each. So that's 200, 300... 400, there's 600 people. Um, get four more trains. Out on... Lewisham onto Bank. Oh, these also, I've just realised I haven't um, put a decal for them. So I'm going to change them so that they're in the old, oh sorry, current DLR livery. The red and blue, which is really iconic. Get some B92 stocks on there. Um, yeah, so... Um, no one's waiting at Lewisham, Elfson Road or Cutty Sark. Uh, West Ferry, there's 3,000 people waiting at Limehouse. They've been waiting for an hour and 45 minutes to get down to All Saints. They're really furious with me, so they're probably going to demand a refund. But there's nothing I can do about that. That is not my prerogative, really. I can only pick up 44 people. So, yeah, they sort of just need, just need more trains on the Lewisham, Lewisham to Bank um, branch. Yeah, they just mostly want to go to Poplar now. There's also 144 wanting to go down to Lewisham. Huh, this sort of sort of is like a headache because what it has meant is now they're all interchanging. Um for C to C. Well, I was gonna say no, so okay, so what's happened here? So for East Ham, all these people Waiting to go to Bow Church, Langdon Park, Stratford, all this. Taking the train down to Barking, then waiting for C2C. To then take them down to Limehouse, where they're getting off for the DLR to then continue their journey. Is that just City Bus Manager with trains or what? Yes, it's pretty much a City Bus Manager with trains. Except there is no, like, 3D depot section. But, anyway, with that being said, I feel like this would be a perfect opportunity to actually leave this episode here. I thank everyone for getting this far. If you're new here and you've enjoyed the stream, be sure to give it a like. And you're not yet, if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to be subscribed to be notified every single time I go live. Um, and 